Regarding the water spraying for the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, we have completed the um, morning uh, portion of this operations. And I think you've already heard about the explanation from a uh, defense minister. Self-defense force conducted a spraying of water from the air. And the police are also going to start uh, the water spraying by the water cannon trucks. So we are trying to combine these two approaches to maximize the uh, effect of water spraying. Under these circumstances, uh, we are asking the uh, people in the peripheral, peripheral areas to evacuate and those living within 20 to 30 kilometers from the plant are told to stay indoors. And some of the evacuees may need uh, extra support, those who are ill, the uh, pregnant women, and also need a special care. And we have, we will do our best to give an all-out support to those who are in a vulnerable situation. And for those of you in the medical field as well as the nursing care professions, we hope to seek your cooperation in helping out those who are vulnerable in these situations. That is all for my part. This is in reference to the uh, aerial spraying operations. Have you heard about the uh, effect from the site? Uh, we understand that there are preparations that are underway, and also investigation is underway as to the effect, efficacy. So the Nuclear Safety Commission in the United States, in Congress, in reference to number reactor four, there has been testimony that the water is being depleted. Has this testimony been conducted based on data or information from the national government from Japan? I believe that it has been understood after such a statement has been made. But what we have done is to provide detailed uh, data to experts from the United States. Uh, we are trying to coordinate on the information. And in the interim, we are trying to provide information in a timely basis so that analysis can be conducted based on more accurate information. However, there is always a time lag, especially in reference to reactor number four, whether water has been depleted. As to the nature of the information, there has been somewhat of a time lag in providing the pertinent information to the U.S. authorities. The U.S. Embassy in Japan has indicated or has issued an advisory to its nationals to evacuate from 80 kilometer radius of the site, which is quite different from the nature of the advisory that has been issued from the Japanese government. Uh, what are your thoughts in reference to the validity of the advisory that has been issued by the Japanese government? From outside of Japan, if there are circumstances that require evacuation that is just, just limited to a nuclear accident, and such an advisory will be issued in order to protect the lives of one's national, especially given that under the circumstances, an outside government is not in direct control of the uh, facility, and therefore it is to be understood that the U.S. government has taken a more conservative approach in issuing an advisory to protect the lives of its national. As for the radius that has been designated in the advisory, that has been issued. What we have done is conduct monitoring, and we have grasped the radioactive levels between a radius of 20 to 30 kilometers. 
and we have continued to gather such data, which will uh, later be disclosed by the meteorology uh, by the Science and Technology Agency, and we uh, have conducted an issues advisory as appropriate. The allies in providing. These measures will not fan the anxiety of the residents in the immediate area. From President Obama, there has been a phone call placed to Prime Minister Khan, and as I have mentioned earlier, uh, we will uh, take a close communication. From Manichi newspaper, it appears as if the uh, Department of Defense have indicated that they will ban the entry of uh, U.S. Uh, military officers within a 90-kilometer uh, radius of the facility. Uh, on that point, we are not aware of such an advisory being issued. And also related to what has just been mentioned, in reference to the uh, scale attributed by international organization, it is uh, said as level four. However, from Brazil and also U.S., the level attributed is number six. On that point, I understand that based on parameters that these institutions and countries have, uh, such a uh, judgment has been rendered. Our stance is to protect the lives of our nationals. You have been watching Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio. All righty, that was uh, the Chief Cabinet Secretary uh, uh, Yukio Odana speaking over there in Japan. Just to briefly uh, give you a sense of what he was saying, first of all to the spraying operation, we also heard from the Defence Minister uh, Toshimo Kitazawa who said that uh, self-defence forces did in fact drop water four times on the problematic reactor number three. They are now planning to use 11 fire trucks for the hosing operation to continue spraying to try and cool some of these reactors. Uh, Secretary Odana essentially said that they can't say at this point they don't have enough information to say whether or not this has been effective. Uh, one interesting point to note, he was asked by reporters about the difference in radius in terms of their evacuation radius between the US which has stated to its citizens uh, to evacuate within the 80 kilometre zone. Uh, Japan stands at 20 to 30 kilometres. His response was uh, an outside government is not essentially in direct control of this situation so it, it can be understood that the US would in fact be more conservative but they are standing behind behind their 20 uh, to 30 kilometre radius saying that this is appropriate given the information that is currently to hand. And just one more point that the Cabinet Secretary made. He said that uh, Prime Minister Ne Oto Khan had in fact spoken to President Obama. They had been on the phone today for around about a half an hour. He says that the US has offered support for both uh, mid- and long-term uh, reconstruction over in Japan, and they have agreed to cooperate on this uh, particular nuclear issue. So some very interesting conversation coming out there. Uh